Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome to another episode. We have a very spontaneous day planned today. Super excited to bring you guys along with me. We are going snowmobiling up north in the mountains. It's gonna be lit. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Lance Boyer. This is my vlog. We post everything from fitness to cars to nutrition to just my overall crazy lifestyle. So if that sounds like something you guys are into, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Let's get this video started. All right, sipping on some coffee, packing up some GoPro gear in that bag right there. Let's go, no time to waste. are a bit shit so we're gonna go shooting instead it's gonna be absolutely ratatata I'll see you there stuck here in a zoom class hold on let me see if I can stuck here in calculus it's kind of not very nice but it's, it's a little nicer because I have a little zoom companion right there hello so the plan now is to go to the gym in a little bit but before I do that my mom decided to take her out for a walk earlier the dog right there and it was quite funny I'm gonna throw in a clip here you got to see how excited this dog gets Minnie, you want to go out Okay. Ow. Anyways, I got like, I guess, 10-ish more minutes of class, so I'm gonna get through those 10 minutes and I will see you guys on the way out to the gym. So recently, I've actually been making my own pre-workout and it's been out of the three ingredients that benefit me the most and this is something I highly recommend to you guys is find the ingredients that are in the pre-workout that work best for you and then make your own. Not only is it cheaper, I have like a 500 serving supply of each ingredient, but also it is so much better for you. You don't have all those artificial flavors, all the sugars. So I'm gonna show you guys what I've been making. So I actually have a combination of a few things. I like to take my creatine with my pre-workout. So the first thing I have is a big ass bag of creatine. This is two pounds of creatine or about 200 servings. And it's coming very handy. Then. This is a big bag of L-citrulline, which is also another one that benefits me really well. Basically, I have 166 servings, or about a teaspoon per serving, in this bag. Finally, my favorite part of pre-workout, the stuff that gives you the tingles and has all those creepy crawlies inside of you, beta alanine. And there is 900 servings in this little bag right here. So let me show you guys how I put this all together. So I have this old pre-workout scooper that I use for, obviously, pre-workout. And this measures out to be one and a half teaspoons. So you guys should probably use a regular teaspoon or something that you're comfortable with using. And basically what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take one and a half scoops of the creatine because we want five grams. We're gonna drop it in our shaker. Then, this is where we wanna be really careful. These two are very easy to take too much of and it will just make your workout absolutely suck. So what we're gonna do is not even, not even an eighth of a scoop of beta alanine. And then about three fourths of a scoop of L-citrulline. Gonna drop that in there as well. And at this point we just shake up all our ingredients and we end up with something that kinda looks like, uh, well, you know where I'm going with that. And at this point, the flavor's not very good, so you have a couple options. I like to take these Mio drops, and especially because I like to have a little bit of caffeine in my pre-workout, I have these Mio caffeinated drops. So now we go for my favorite part of the pre-workout, and we just add some color. 
And at this point, you have yourselves a healthier alternative to pre-workout. It's delicious, it can be whatever flavor you want, it's easy, it's cheap, it's good stuff. And we are on the way to pick up a training partner. We have a gnarly back day planned. We're gonna do some deadlifts, heavier deadlifts today. So not really focused on hypertrophy for deadlift stuff, but for all the rest of the movements, we are being focused on hypertrophy. So we're gonna do some rows, some pull downs, lots of bicep focused work because I wanna grow my arms a little bit more before summer. It's gonna be lit. So I'm decked up on blue bills And I won't stop until the cash pit Look like fall leaves in the backfield Tell her out of my face If she coming with that bull Quick to say my piece I'm so after school special She brainy but them jeans Looking like paint I got a blessing This talk a whole lot No one damn well They really can't press us I notated on leaflet I'm really up a few levels with it Like way, way off the way from them Can't see me You can't battle with us E&J in my Earl Grey Hood bunched up with the cheese eggs And a dumb face no stun of shade, still turned up Ben had it pop in in broad day, that's Avi Flower child from the sun rays, but I run fade, got a punch drunk My providence, they don't love us, they the treat us like an animal They wonder why we on A, escaping shit, I'm off the cannabis Middle fingers in tandem, going tantrum Yelling f 12 with a big smile, young phantom Hi mama, on camera, coming live from the mud and we killed that workout. It was an absolute banger. Some more high volume for the accessory work and then low volume high weight for the uh, compound movements. It was a very good workout overall. As I said before, I keep my workout program in the top of the description. It is free for you guys to try, so I highly recommend you guys do so. There's a, there's a dog waiting for me in the window. I can see it from here. You guys probably can't see it, but I can see it from here. So let's, let's get inside there. Here we go. Hello! 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 